So I'm going to put together this tutorial. Um, one thing I've noticed is when you do motion capture, um, that sometimes it doesn't really fit, uh, or there'll be issues or errors. Um, right now I have this actor named Dexter. Uh, he came in and do some shadow boxing. It's a high speed movement, so sometimes you get uh, issues with things, and just in general, uh, especially when you're using an inertia based motion capture. Uh, you can have issues. Um, in the past, when I was first learning this, I would see some of these and just decide they're bad takes and um, would toss them. And uh, you can actually fix a lot of these. So if you're looking at this, you can kind of see like his hands going through his chest. Um, also, when he was starting, his hand position is, you know, it's it's up in his kind of, uh, it's not where his face actually is. So he's normally protecting his face. And in this case, his hands are a little bit lower. So to fix this, we're going to go to your NLA your nonlinear animations. We're going to push this button to bring it down, and that pushes it down the stack. All right, from here, we can kind of make modifications. But before we start, you press N. When you press N, you'll get your little thing here. You want to change this to set replace to combine. Combining will take any changes we make and combine it with the existing motion capture. Uh, if you don't do this, and you, you end up basically animating by hand, and you don't want to animate by hand. You, you just want to tweak some things. OK, so now we're pretty much all set up. We're already in pose mode, we're in the animation tab, so we're just going to move the hand in a way that um, will be closer to what we see in the video there. And so all I'm doing is I'm rotating the camera so that I can kind of um, just hit R to rotate, and it will kind of rotate on that axis. I'm not being super precise with it. I just want to kind of get it to a point where you know it, it feels about what the video is like. I mean, I can't really see it from the side in this case, but I can kind of see like, okay, these fingers are a little off. Uh, see with that camera right there, I, I ended up moving it wrong. So I moved the camera so I can bring that finger down. Um, you know, I could do it specifically on axis, but but why? And depending on how precise you need uh, one of these animations, um, you can you can keep tweaking this as much as you want. I'm going to go a little bit quick on this. So I just want it to be basically right, basically accurate. Okay, I mean that's looking it's looking decent. This hand over here is still it's a little close. Um, also, it's not up to his face, I think, where it needs to be, um, but we're getting there. It's better than it was. Um, and once you get like your first one, you always want to start with the first frame and get the first frame uh, as close as you can to the original. So if you have a reference video, that's super helpful. Um, that typically will fix most of the stuff going out uh, if you happen to nail it. But uh, sensors will also slide and things like that. So it's not a, no guarantee, depending how long your recording is and when the last time you redid your your T pose and your rest pose. Um, you could definitely make this off. So that's getting closer. All right, I kind of like the way that looks. Um, now let's see here. Uh, can't really tell on his legs. They, they might be a bit off. Oh, it's probably just my camera. I could tweak that a little bit. Let's move it. That's the hair. Um, looks a little weird. Uh, the, in this particular shot, I mean, it's we don't really see his leg, so um, depending on what your animation is and what you're using it for, you may want to tweak it more or less. It's it's really up to you. I'm just going to make a couple couple things to kind of see how it works. Then we hit insert, and we want to do the full body armature. And then, as you see, let's see here, that's looking better. But look, we went right through the chest still, so not not right. But we don't have to go back and fix the first frame. We can. Um, but we can also just go to where we see an issue. And so like, I don't know, um, you don't have to fix it at exactly the right frame. I'm just trying to find a spot that looks pretty bad and uh, fix it from like the worst spot is usually what I find the best. And so this is, this is obviously it does not look natural. It's going through, uh, the body. Uh, if you had like armor or something on a character, you definitely have to adjust this too. Even if your actor was doing it right and you recorded it correctly. I'm just kind of looking to kind of see what he was doing during this time period. Uh, did he do anything weird with his hands? I don't. This is before he kicked. Let's see here. I mean, I don't see anything. I just see him protecting his face. Yeah, he just keeps it by his face. Um, so that's not exactly what's being rendered here. So let's let's just tweak this a bit. Um, get a little more protection going on. So this little model will be protecting itself. Oh, wrong hand. Let me grab this one. Okay. Uh, a little bit better. 
I'll just insert another one there. And so we reinsert the whole body again. Doesn't really matter um, what we tweak, what we don't. And so we can see it keeps it off the body now. It's not going all the way through. No, it's not perfect. We can do maybe some more tweaks on that. Smooth it out a little bit more. Yeah, and just reinsert. All right, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that's better. All right, I'm right, checking them out. Okay, look for other errors. Obviously, there's one right there. It's going through his chest again. Um, we can fix that. And so I, I find this workflow pretty easy, pretty intuitive, um, just finding things that are a little bit off, things you don't really like, and then just zooming in, changing that bone, reinserting, and then just playing it back and seeing what it looks like. I think it's already starting to look better. All right, that's not bad. Now let's kind of focus towards the end of this. We have some issues with the other hand here. I mean, going through his head, I mean, very similar kind of problems. We'll just bring it out a little bit. Mm. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, no, it went right through his chest. Okay, so, I mean, the hand's clear, but the arm is not. So let's just kind of tweak this a bit, get this out some more. I mean, if I want to go, I could look at the video and go frame by frame, but don't really need to. And you don't at all need to really go frame by frame in these types of things, unless, especially if you're not doing any kind of scientific data stuff. You're just, you know, making games or movies. Just make something that looks good. You can over-exaggerate things. You can speed them up, whatever. So the punching's looking nice. Got that little shadow box thing going on here. Yeah. Okay, overall, overall, it's not bad. I kind of like it. So if you want, um, this could be good if you're staying in Blender, um, but if you want to take this NLA, you can have it just one. So if you want to export this to Unity or Unreal or Godot, uh, I hit F3 and you type in bake. Uh, and then you look for your NLA.bake um, option. It should be in here. Wait, no, there, I overlooked it. It's right, right there. And when you press it, um, the only thing you really need to do is just turn off basically all the checkboxes. Uh, there might be something you may want for your specific case, but the defaults are usually just fine, and you'll just press OK. This will bake it all down into one action, so you don't have like this combined action, just one that has all the little pieces. So when you export to FBX or GLB, it'll just kind of work. So this tutorial is really helpful if you get any of our motion captures from Hacktop Studios. If you go to store.hacktop.com and download anything and it doesn't fit perfectly for your game or what your character looks like, you can make these modifications easily in Blender to, to adjust them for whatever your game or settings are. Also, if there's something on the store that you think I'm missing, um, just ping me. I'll either make it or you can uh, commission something specifically for your game. I hope this was helpful and let me know if you need anything else in the comments. Thanks.